Has anyone ever contacted you asking for you to evaluate them and approve them and write them an emotional support animal letter? I know that's happened for me and I was not comfortable doing so because it was outside of my scope of practice. Me too. too. Yeah, me too. So join us on this podcast with Becky Stone where we talk about the differences between emotional support animal, therapy animal, service animal, and she actually takes us step by step and you on how to be comfortable and write a letter for an emotional support animal for your clients. We're Kate and Katie from the Private Practice Startup. We look forward to joining you and you joining us in the podcast. See you there.